let's perform the electrocochleography test. Uh, this test allows us to evaluate the state of cochlea and the initial part of auditory nerve of our patient. To perform the electrocochleography, we need to use a special type of active electrodes. Um, actually, uh, there were a lot of different types, for example, extratympanical, like tip throat, and intratympanical, for example, special membranes or transtympanical needles. Uh, the last type requires uh, profound skills from the audiologist and a good anesthesia before applying. Today we will use tip throat as active electrode. Let's start to prepare the skin before the procedure. To reach the good impedance during the stimulation, we need to prepare it in the right way. Firstly, we need to decrease the points of future position of electrodes with the spiritus napkin. Active electrode we will put in the left ear canal today. We decrease the skin of the ear. The reference electrode we will put on the skin behind the contralateral mastoid. In our case, it is the right mastoid. Also, uh, we can choose another point to position the reference electrode, for example, in a higher forehead. But today we will use a contramastoid. And the ground electrode we will put on the forehead of our patient. Next, we need to peel off the skin in this point using the abrasive paste. We peel off the skin till a slight redness. And the skin around the outer ear canal. Now we can position the reference and the ground electrode. Today we will use the single-use hydrogel electrodes. And put it on the skin behind the right mastoid, the reference, and the ground on the skin, forehead. Next, we will connect these electrodes to our amplifier using the alligator connectors. The reference electrode we connect to the first minus channel of our amplifier. And the ground electrode we connect to the common channel of our amplifier. As you can see, today uh, we will uh, use only one channel of our amplifier um, because we use only one tip throat for the left ear. If uh, you want, you can use two tip throats for each ear and apply connectors to the two channels of amplifier. In the electrocochleography test, we need to use a special type of auditory stimulator. As you can see, it is in set earphones. Um, because we will evaluate the state of left ear uh, in the left part of our auditory stimulator, we connect our active electrode tip trot. This way. To connect tip trot to the, our amplifier, we will use a special alligator connector for cochleographic electrode. Before inserting in the patient's ear, we need to apply a little amount of conductive gel on the tip throat. Now we prepare the tip throat this way. 
and insert in the patient's outer ear canal as profound as we can. Now we connect our tip throat to amplifier using the plus thirst channel of it. On the other side, in the right ear, to use the simple tip of insert earphones. We insert it the same way. To fix the earphone firmly, we can use the patient cloths and the special clips. Like this. Now we collect the cables together to minimize the notch noise. And now we are ready to walk in our near audio.net program. We are in the electrocochleography window now. We put necessary electrodes before. We can uh, see uh, the settings here, the stimulation rate. Also, uh, we can uh, choose uh, the way to perform the stimuli, for example, the auditory neuropathy become different stimuli in different banks. Here we can see the parameters of hardware, the stimulus. We use click stimulus now. Also, uh, note that we uh, use only one channel in this probe. Choose it and press OK. Now. We can choose the necessary side of stimulation, check the impedance, active is plus, it's ok. Uh, check that you use insert earphones and start acquisition. You can uh, see the process of stimulation and averaging, see the curve. Ask the patient to relax maximally before to close uh, his eyes. Now we are in the process. If you have some much, some much quantity of averaging, press here. Now we get response, we can put the markers, the markers of baseline, so SP for cochlea and AP for auditory nerve and the program will automatically calculate all the necessary values, for example the amplitude ratio and the area ratio which is important, for example, in diagnostic such disease as Meniere disease. Now you can save, repeat for right ear, for example, or perform another test.